The first marijuana-based drug is approved by the FDA, a major milestone that could open the door for more research and change the legal landscape for cannabis. Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Coe joins us now with the story of an area family that helped get this medication approved. Sharon? Well, Deborah, Terry Carricker's 15-year-old daughter, Catherine, was part of this drug company's clinical trial for several years. She tells me she's excited that more young patients will soon have access to this drug. Catherine suffers from numerous seizures every day, but this marijuana-based drug called Epidiolex has helped reduce her daughter's seizures by about 50%. Epidiolex contains cannabidiol, or CBD, a component that's stripped of THC. It's used to treat rare and severe forms of epilepsy in children. The DEA now has to reclassify marijuana before the drug can be sold. Right now, it's under the same category as cocaine and ecstasy. Recognizing that it is actually beneficial for medicinal use, should open the doors to, um, to making that available for far more than even just epilepsy patients. The FDA approval means insurance will help cover costs. There's a form of CBD at dispensaries in Texas and patients pay out of pocket. Sharon Coe, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.